this is kind of the situation here at Saugus High School uh, where things uh, in terms of security at the campus uh, appear to be stable, uh, at least in some way, but uh, that is certainly some good news here. But uh, again, from what we have seen, we have seen at least four people injured uh, uh, with one person uh, having CPR being performed. So again, the LA County Sheriff's Department is gonna be here all day long and they're gonna be uh, working on their investigation. The LA County Fire Department is also here basically to help uh, any medical situation uh, that still might be here. Now we understand there is a helicopter that is going to be just uh, three to four minutes out uh, potentially or presumably to transport uh, any uh, injured uh, victims who might need some urgent uh, medical attention here. So that is going to be something that we will be watching as well. Uh, so we are over Saugus High School here, Centurion Avenue, just off of Bouquet Canyon Road. I can see out front uh, there are a whole host of uh, LA County Sheriff's uh, Deputy Vehicles here as well as LA County Fire Department here. You would imagine that uh, parents are going to start arriving here if they know that their students were here during the early morning hours. Uh, this all happened before 8 o'clock. Perhaps uh, there might have been classes that were taking place before 8 o'clock or perhaps some uh, sporting or uh, things like that, activities that happened before uh, school officially starts. But uh, again, this all happened at about 7.30 this morning, a shooting uh, situation here again. We Several students who have been shot at the Saugus High School, 40 miles north of L.A., described as an active shooter situation. Suspect described to be a male Asian, black clothing, also still at large. We um, just continuing fire on the scene. Multiple units responding for the sheriff's stations to assist as a precaution. Other schools in the area have been on lockdown. Uh, there are resources from the sheriff's department searching for the suspect. Six people at least injured in the shooting. The sheriff says the following. If you live in the neighborhood anywhere near Saugus High School, lock your doors in all caps, Ted, and stay inside. If you see the suspect, male dark clothing in the backyards, etc., call 911. 6.55 local time. That's about an hour and 40 minutes ago. That's when the shooting took place. And you're trying to catch up to a man who's trying to get away. A helicopter shot, KABC screen left, is over a neighborhood where they believe the shooter may have gone to. So they have maybe a clue or a hint as to that, Ted. Continue. Uh, a note from the sheriff's department uh, putting a statement out. If you live in the neighborhood anywhere near Saugus High School, as you saw that aerial shot from uh, the ABC affiliate there, it is very close to the school, meaning that the... Uh, uh, the shooter wouldn't have made it far. If you live in the neighborhood near the high school, please lock your doors. They're using capital letters. Stay inside. If you see suspect male dark clothing in backyards, call 911. So situation ongoing and according to where they are shooting this, it can easily zoom back to the high school, we're told, so he hasn't made it far. Well, uh, the one thing about law enforcement is they will uh, get into that area. Uh, these are highly trained individuals for these unfortunate incidents. So they will know how to canvas that area. They will perhaps do what we defined as a grid search of that area. Uh, they are probably going to use helicopters. They're going to use uh, dogs, uh, and uh, they're going to use SWAT teams uh, to just canvas that, that, that entire area. So um, while it is uh, an unfortunate incident, it appears as though the school itself is under control of the first responders. Uh, but uh, what is happening right now more than anything else is that they're trying to find out who and where this shooter is. You know, and that's significant and important. Ted, thank you. He may have walked home. It may be that simple. We are told the helicopter shot has been focused on the shooter's home. The L.A. Times is reporting police looking for a 15-year-old boy in a black T-shirt, black hat, and black clothing. 